people perceive working in chemical plants as being dangerous. This stigma comes from known disasters such as Bhopal, India, Toulouse, France, Wisconsin, Texas City, Texas, Kansas City, and Tavares FI. These plants produce hazardous chemicals such as propane, ethanol, methane, carbaryl, ammonium nitrate, and ammonia. There are different ways to classify how dangerous a process is, one of which being the FAR. The FAR is a measurement of the number of fatalities based on a thousand employees' lifetime careers. Knowing about these chemical plant disasters, you might expect the FAR to be large. However, the FAR for working in a chemical plant is relatively low, just 1.2. To give you a comparison, the FAR for traveling by car is 57. From this, you can infer that these hazardous chemical plants may not be as dangerous as perceived. However, there are likely chemicals in your home that are deadlier. Every year, tens of thousands of people in the U.S. alone are poisoned by carbon monoxide. This results in 500 deaths on average. Another common household chemical that is well known and thought of to be safe is responsible for hundreds of thousands of deaths every year, dihydrogen monoxide. Fixation due to dihydrogen monoxide can lead to the deprivation of oxygen in the human body. This is also one of the biggest dangers and most common occurrences in today's world. This has the potential to kill millions of people and has been a threat to humanity since the beginning of time. According to the CDC, between 2005 and 2014, an average of 3,536 people died per year in the United States from unintentional events of asphyxiation. This equates to approximately 10 people per day. Victims of asphyxiation that suffer non-fatal injuries can still acquire severe brain damage that can result in various conditions from memory problems all the way to living in a permanent vegetative state. Asphyxiation due to dihydrogen monoxide is something to be highly aware of. It should not be overlooked. Also, just like the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the hydrogen monoxide does not discriminate based on race, gender, location, and especially age. According to the World Health Organization, the highest rates of asphyxiation due to dihydrogen monoxide overexposure were children ages 1 through 4, followed by ages 5 through 9. This evidence shows that this chemical is so deadly that not even the innocent children are safe from its terror. Families are investing thousands and even millions of dollars into their children's development just to possibly lose them to the colorless, odorless menace. The unfortunate truth is that it's not only its dangerous properties overlooked by the masses, it's also socially accepted to the point that people embrace it wholeheartedly. It's even more mainstream than mainstream media. People spend thousands of dollars to maintain a large vats of dihydrogen monoxide near the vicinity of their own backyard. Many people overlook the hazards of even chemicals in their own homes, while the stigma of chemical plants seems to be made out to be much worse than it is. Natural Disasters Involving Dihydrogen Monoxide Dihydrogen monoxide can be the cause of many supernatural events. These events occur that have the capability to wipe out hundreds of thousands of people. History has shown that it is not a force to be reckoned with. OSHA has defined employer responsibilities in relation to the safety, welfare, and protection of workers from hazards such as supernatural events. They've evaluated the preparation of supply kits and evacuation plans. They also have tools that help assess risk, give information on hazard exposures. During the recovery phase after events with powerful winds, with dihydrogen monoxide occur, disasters such as overflow of dihydrogen monoxide, powerful winds combined with dihydrogen monoxide, and extreme winter weather all involve deadly applications of dihydrogen monoxide. OSHA has information on emergency prep preparedness and response for employers and workers affected by these types of supernatural and fatal events. The adult human body consists of 60% of dihydrogen monoxide. Humans consume this chemical on a daily basis, not realizing the potential dangers and all the hazards that this chemical possesses. Without proper filtration, this chemical has the potential to end human lives, causing organ failure. The consumption of dihydrogen monoxide found at sea can be deadly because of its tendency to be mixed with sodium. This chemical mixture will be a hypertonic solution that in turn dehydrates cells in the body. Therefore, ingesting this chemical leads to dehydration and eventually death. This is only one example of the many dangers that dihydrogen monoxide possesses.
Dihydrogen Monoxide MSDS According to its material safety data sheet, dihydrogen monoxide possesses many dangerous health hazards. If it comes into contact with your eyes, it may cause irritation and temporary vision impairment. Dihydrogen monoxide is ingested. It can lead to micturition, which affects the excretory organs of the individual. It is highly recommended that workers should avoid ingesting large amounts of dihydrogen monoxide due to its leading to excessive micturition and the loss of workplace productivity. Skin contact may cause wrinkling of skin and induce hallucinations of the Benjamin Button's disease. At high temperatures, it can lead to scalding and severe burns on the skin. For operations involving electrical equipment, it should be well contained in order to avoid contact with any electrical sources in nearby individuals. This is due to its high conductivity and ability to increase the rate of funeral processions per year. Overall, this dangerous chemical should be properly handled by a trained specialist. Dihydrogen monoxide and process safety. Process safety can have a large impact on the world's dihydrogen monoxide supply. Inherently safe designs along with PSM and RMP have the power to reduce the number of incidents, spills, and overall impact of industrial processes on the environment, including dihydrogen monoxide systems. Plant design and safety have immediate effects on the workers and surrounding population and environment. Inherently safe design eliminates and reduces hazards in order to limit and ideally avoid process incidents. The contamination of dihydrogen monoxide is often a side effect of the failure of industrial manufacturing processes. Oil spills are a common incident that lead to the contamination of underground and surface bodies of dihydrogen monoxide. Plant incidents that lead to the leakage of waste and or products into the environment often result in the contamination of dihydrogen monoxide. The contaminated chemical can then end up in areas with direct exposure to humans, wildlife, and nature. There's also the potential for piping systems transporting already contaminated dihydrogen monoxide to further contaminate the chemical. This is exactly what happened in Flint, Michigan, where dihydrogen monoxide intended for consumption was switched to a contaminated source and then further contaminated by the lead piping that was used to transport it. This turned into a crisis for residents, and the effects of this tragic event are still being felt today. The problem has yet to be resolved and further demonstrates just how dangerous dihydrogen monoxide can be.